What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a fun one for you today. We're back with the La Jolla Scramble. Except this time it's raining, hence the thumbnail. So we've got the beta active, fortunately. Weather's not bad enough that it's turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now and just talk and work through this because while it's on, it'll stay on. Now we need to make sure we're careful of people coming from the left. Totally clear, but we're stopping abruptly here. Oh, which makes sense because we're actually, we're rounding left, human error. No one's yielding, they're just pushing through. With these roundabouts, you need to you know, yield to the left, you know, people coming up, that's how that works. But you know, humans are impatient and wanna get where they're going regardless of who's around them. So we just gotta deal with it. But I've got a series of points that I've mixed up and thrown all over the place. So as we delete these waypoints, we're just gonna have to see what happens. We got one more roundabout to go through before I delete wheat and water, and then we'll hit our other three and depending on how long this takes, this might be the only round we really have to do. Last time around, we had issues with the beta kind of flying into some of these roundabouts a little too quickly. And in some cases I had to take over just, to, just in case, because I don't want to make anyone excessively nervous around me. So we'll delete that, hit done, and we should carry on to the next one. Perfect. Good read, good read. Little, that's, a, that's what I do for waypoints. Anybody's curious, all you gotta do is go in, edit, clear, hit done. You don't have to go into park and hit continue. That is an option, but it is not the only way to do it. Now here, good, we wanna be careful not going too fast. We don't wanna stop unnecessarily at the yield, which we're doing okay. We're moving kinda of slow, cruising and grooving. This guy's gonna blow through. Oh, no, you're gonna wait halfway in the lane. Good job. That's half a human error. <laughs> human error, 1.5, oh man. All right, cool, we cleared around. We're gonna go through these again. I'm wondering if anybody like notices that I'm going back and forth and wonders what the heck is this guy doing? But this is always kind of fun for me because it feels like an obstacle course. Uh, it's not as crazy busy today as it can be. I think the rain's keeping a lot of people indoors. Um, it's also middle of the day during a work week, which now that the holidays are over, we're kind of back. Cool, we're flowing, we're flowing. Very good. It's interesting to think about how the system is calculating whether or not like that truck was gonna go straight or start turning our direction. Uh, those really quick reactive responses or just being that extra cautious beforehand. Uh, generally, a good driver going into a roundabout is looking at the entire situation and going, okay, is this guy gonna keep going in a circle? No, he's not. Okay, now I can go. It's definitely not the case for everybody. A little weird random jolt there. All right. Now this one, we need to come through and spin all the way around and I need to safely edit this trip, delete that, should be fine because we haven't hit done yet. So it's still holding that as our next destination and then done, boom. So now we have a re-nav issue and we got a lot of people pulling in and out here. Let's see if the beta is going to be a Californian or if we're, I'm gonna let him in. That, that's, I, I'm just gonna be courteous there. <laughs> the beta was totally gonna go. I don't really count that against the system. Are you parking or leaving? Oh, you're trying to park. Okay, I'm gonna let the beta figure this one out. You got a tiny car, you could fit a full-size truck right there. I believe in you. It's not the right angle, but you'll figure it out anyways. Uh, that was a courtesy disengagement. For all of you new beta testers, if any of you are watching my channel for the first time and are seeing this message, do that. Don't be an excessive inconvenience to other drivers just to test the system. If you find yourself in an opportunity where you're not inconveniencing anybody, go for it. Have a blast, but don't be rude and block people or cut people off for clicks or whatever. All right, PSA aside. Now we're whipping back around as we head to our third or fourth waypoint. I forget at this point because I am talking way too much to keep track of everything. I mean, so far, this feels really great. I haven't had any big issues. Uh, we're a little stuttery and stoppy during some parts of the roundabout versus flowing, but generally flowing really well. Here we go, we got a pedestrian crossing. Very good. I've never had an issue with that here. Okay, we're getting the full self-driving degraded warning given that the rain's picked up a bit. Uh, fun fact, if you guys didn't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure when this started, but you no longer have to have your wiper blades on auto. You can actually change the setting. Before, it had to be auto only, but now if it's not raining too heavy, you can actually kick that down instead of having it going crazy for a drizzle. All right, now we're coming through this one. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go into edit. We're kind of slowing down unnecessarily here. Again, I'm giving it a little throttle. I think that's my second throttle intervention, first or second throttle intervention, just because it needs to flow through here better. I just deleted both of those points. So we're gonna pick a random one. We're gonna pick a random one and just go. And now we're gonna talk. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Um, actually, we'll pick one more. One more that I'm gonna try to use to throw the system off right there. Beaumont's, whatever that is. So add, and then we're gonna, no, we don't want it to be the first one. We're gonna switch it mid nav and see what happens. There's a nice Ionic 5 there. There we go, very good. Okay, we're stuttering. <laughs> that was good though. We needed to yield for that other Tesla. So that's totally fine. Um, and actually, no, I, I was correct in where I had it before. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're waiting for somebody. You want to get in there. See, and I don't think in any of the La Jolla Scramble videos we've had this issue yet where we've had to wait for people to park. So I'm going to get on my brakes here. It's another courtesy disengagement because if I don't, that's actually right behind the guy who couldn't parallel park. Well, he did it, so I guess he can. See, plenty of space. You didn't turn soon enough. So I'm going to go ahead and go while they figure that out. The Tesla's parallel park quite well. So two courtesy disengagements. Those were not failure points in my mind. Beta could have squeezed around. Humans squeeze around because they just, they just don't care. Etiquette is a rare and beautiful thing that we don't get to see a lot of. No! Because of the courtesy disengagement, we lost full self-driving. Oh, rip. All right, little fun fact number two for everybody. If you're already in full self-driving when it's raining, you're fine. It'll stay. Everything is fine. But if you exit it during a poor weather detected scenario, you lose it and you go back to good old autopilot. It caught me off guard because I was like, wait a minute, why is it just stopping here? Because it doesn't have the permissions to uh so this is this is this is fsd without city streets beta it doesn't have permissions to go through this it was asking for me to continue well i guess that's pretty much going to wrap it up unless by some chance in the next minute or two we can get the full self-driving beta back <laughs> but there is a rainy day with a bunch of roundabouts in la jolla uh i was gonna try to do an unguided adventure video today but i don't know if that'll be possible given the weather is bad enough it's been like this for about a week now, which I'm not too upset about, but it does make getting FSD beta content a little tough. I did manage to get one good customer interaction, so we got some content coming, no worries. Besides, I gotta hit that 25K goal by the end of the year. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, let me know what you thought. I thought that the finesse around the roundabouts was a lot better. I only had to really disengage twice out of courtesy. I think I got on the throttle maybe twice. It'll be on the screen, kept track like we always do. I think we had one and a half human errors, <laughs> but that was good. We'll definitely revisit when the weather's a little bit better to give a little bit more in-depth view on how it handles things. But I think the system is actually doing really good in the rain so far, at least while it is active. So until the next video, y'all take care.